Hey, it's your bot. Shalom, everyone. This is Dr. Durr. I'd like to welcome you back to the Wake Up Joshua World channel. All praise to the Most High Yahuwah from whom all blessings and benefits flow. Thank the Most High for His Son, Yahushua, who died for the sins of Yahshua And thank Him for His Ruach Hakadesh, who leads and guides us into all truth. I thank you for being here today, uh, coming to the channel. There's a word from the Most High Yahuwah for you, His people. Today's topic is, Yahshua we will be delivered. Be encouraged. Continue to seek His face while He may be found. And call upon Him while He is yet near. The main thing you need to do is make sure you stay prayed up. And stood it up. Not now lay me down to sleep. But you need to call on y'all. As they did in the book of Exodus. Then he came by with a breakthrough and deliverance, and a deliverance. And set his people free. Set our people free. And so we can do that again. Let's call on y'all. Cry out to y'all in the, your pain. You see what's going on in the world. You see the chaos. You see the wickedness. Cry out to y'all. You, you can't expect things to remain the same. Y'all is doing this because it's the birth pains. Of Yashorel being birthed again. Back into a nation. Hallelujah. We're being birthed again back into a nation. We're getting ready to take our rightful place as we go through our training in the wilderness. But I need you guys to pray. Please pray. Pray daily. Seek his face, y'all, while he may be found. Call upon him while he is yet near. Look, I love you all. Engage this lesson. Study this lesson. Listen to this lesson. Dissect it. Go over and over again until you get what you need to get out of it. And if y'all send you back to it, do it again. Look, I love you all. Let's get ready to go into this word. Shalom. I know we can get a, a hallelujah on that, saints, because we need to cry out to Yahuwah to deliver us out of the hands of our enemies. The book of Leviticus, the 26th chapter, tells us to ask y'all to forgive us, forgive us the sins of our ancestors, forgive our forefathers, forgive every one of our family members, y'all, forgive us all, and Father, y'all, deliver us and come and make haste to deliver us. Out of, away from the hands of the heathens because they are getting crazier and crazier. I know that you are the one pushing us, y'all, into your arms, pushing us into your care, pushing us to seek your face while you may be found and call upon you while you are yet near. Y'all, we are here today telling you now we're going after you hard as a nation, not as just an individual in prayer, but as a nation of people. we crying out to you, y'all. Help us today, y'all. Seek your face now in Yahushua's name. Hallelujah. We give you praise, y'all, so be it. Now go with me to the book of Vayikra, which is Leviticus, the 26th chapter, starting at the 40th verse. This is what I was just quoting to you. I just want to read it to you to show you. It says, If they shall confess their iniquities and the iniquities of their fathers with their transgressions, which they have transgressed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me, we have, 41st verse, and that I also have walked contrary unto them. Yah was against us. And have brought them into the land of their enemies. That's where we are now. If then their uncircumcised hearts be humble. And they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. We accept all punishment of our iniquity, Yah. We accept it. For the second verse, look what Yah say he's going to do. Then will I remember my covenant with Jacob. And also my covenant with Yisak, and also my covenant with Abraham, will I remember, and I will remember the land. See, saints, that's all we got to do is seek God's face and cry out to him. He told you right there what he would do. He will restore us back to our rightful place, get us back home where we need to be, restore to us a pure language, and get us back into serving him as we should as the Hebrew Israelites. Let's get ready to go on today's lesson. All praises to the Most High Yahuwah. I am he who breathes life, behold the nail hands. His son, Yahushua, Yahuwah, is salvation. The Ruach Hakadesh, the set apart spirit, the comforter, the one who leads us in all truth. Praying that all is well with you and your family. Praying that you will be obedient and that you will accomplish all that the Most High Yahuwah has given you to do. Saints, let us pray. Yahuwah, my prayer and desire is to speak with compassion, power, authority, clarity, conviction, confidence, and be convincing to the hearts the minds and soul of your people and sojourners all over this world. All I ask you, who is that you anoint this vessel of clay from the top of my head to the sole of my feet? In Yahushua HaMashiach's name we pray. Hallelujah. So be it. Saints, I want you to turn with me to the book of Shemut, Exodus, the second chapter, starting at the 23rd verse. This is where we're going to get our message from on today. Today's title is Cry Out to Yahuwah for Deliverance. Not as an individual per se, we can do that, but we're saying as a nation of people. We 
are in trouble as a nation. We are in bondage as a nation. We are in a quandary right now with these enemies as a nation, not just individuals, but as a nation of people. Yes, we as individuals face our own dilemmas, our own hardships, but we're talking about as a nation, we need to cry out. Let's see what the book of Shemut, Exodus, the second chapter is talking about. Remember, we're headed towards another Exodus, the second Exodus, where Yah is going to totally deliver us out of the hands of the enemy. Listen at this, the 23rd verse, and it shall come to pass in the process of time that the king of Misraim, Egypt, died and the children of Yashorel sighed by reason of abundance. They were going through so much, they sighed. They didn't just cry, but they sighed. They had cried a lot and they cried and their cry came up unto Yahuwah by reason of abundance. They were going through so much, they cried out to Yahuwah. That's what I'm telling you today. We need to cry out to Yahuwah again. Hallelujah. This is part two. This is part one Exodus dealing with Moshe and our ancestors, and our forefathers. But now we're going on part two Exodus dealing with us as a people. Listen to the 24th verse. And Yahuwah heard their groanings and Yahuwah remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Yitzhak, with Jacob. Remember, after we cried out, Y'all heard our groaning. He heard our cry. He heard our ancestors. We were in them, and he heard them. So therefore, we can do it again. Look at the 21st verse. And Yahuwah looked upon the children of Yashorel, and Elohim had respect unto them. See, right after that, Yah presented to his people a deliverer. Guess what's going to happen? Moses was the deliverer for Yashorel. The second deliverer is going to be Yahusha, our Savior, our Messiah, appearing to set us free out of the hands of the enemy. So he that endured to the end, that's the one that's going to be saved. That's going the one that's going to be delivered when Yahushua come back and set us free out of the hands of the enemy. Hallelujah. Saints, we are living in perilous times as the set-apart scriptures have foretold. As a matter of fact, it is playing out right before our faces. And we are smack dab in the middle. And guess who the main characters are? It's us, Yahshua. We are the theme. We are the beginning. We are the middle. And we are the end of this story that's being played out live and in living color. We are the main character. So after you have been awakened by Yahuwah, we really don't have time to be walking around in the days. We need to fall on our knees, fall prostrate on the floor, stand or sit in prayer unto Yahuwah, and truly travail, in other words, back breakingly and hard mental exertion or physical label. That's the de definition. The closest English word is the word toil. Though travail means you're not just exerting monumental effort, but suffering as you do so. Here's another scriptural example. Often you must travail before you prevail. Remember what I just said. Most times you got to travail before you prevail. That's in the book of Yeshayahu, Isaiah 66 chapter. Listen what it says. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pains came, she was delivered of a man-child. It's dealing with a woman in the birthing position, getting ready to bring forth a child. And it says, before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. It's saying, this woman was having a baby before she went through any travail, any pain. And look what the next verse said. Who has heard such a thing? What the scripture is saying is, there is no way this woman is going to have a baby without being in excruciating pain, without travail, without crying out. No, you're not going to deliver until you travail. Now listen to what the rest of it says. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in a day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion, talking about us, travail as soon as we cry out as soon as we cry out are you listening as soon as we cry out travail you're gonna bring forth her children she'll bring forth her children she'll bring forth i had to repeat that three times her children you got to cry out to y'all before you bring forth before we be birthed again as a nation we have to cry out listen the ninth verse shall i bring to birth and not cause to bring forth Said Yahuwah, shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? Said Thy Elohim, what Yah saying right now, we in the place of birthing. We getting ready to be 
We born back in the earth as a nation. We are a nation, but we have gone through many bondages. But this last bondage that we in these 400 years is coming to a consummation. It's almost at the end. It is almost done. We're still in bondage, but we need to cry out uh, and, and to Yah, there's a set time. There's a process of time. Thing has to go through a, a channel, has to go through the time period that it needs to go through. And at the end of that time period, there's no more delay. There's no more hold up. It's time for the bring forth. It's time for the baby to come out. Y'all said, I'm not going to bring you to the place of this awakening and let you just sit there in, in, in travail and in pain and not cause you to bring forth. Let me say it again. Shall I bring the birth, awakening, and not cause you to bring forth? Second Exodus says, Yahuwah, shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb? No, y'all said, I'm not going to get you there close to your breakthrough, close to getting home, and just let you sit there in trouble anymore. No, I'm taking you all the way out. I'm getting you home. Thanks. Here's another powerful passage of scripture. Psalms 5 and 2. Listen what it says. Psalm is to heal them in Hebrew. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my king, my Elohim, for to you I will pray. In short, David is saying, O Yahuwah, please listen to me. Hear my cry. Remember, as in pregnancy, there is travail before the blessing. Saints, I'm not saying that you're not praying. All I'm asking is that we continue to cry out. But today, I'm pleading with you to turn up the heat on your prayer life. Saints, here's a powerful meme right here. I love this meme. I've always loved it since the first time I, I saw it. And I posted a lot. But listen to what it says. But if they will confess their sins and the sins of their ancestors. Father, Yah, I repent for my sins and the sins of my fathers and my forefathers. Leviticus 26 and 40. He will hear our cry. You have to understand this is important for us to do so. I know we going through a lot, but we got to not get caught up in our emotions of what we feeling. We need to be concerned about what Yah wants, what he, what he can do for us. Because once you get concerned about Yah, he'll take care of your business. You take care of his. What did Yahushua say? I must be about my father's business. He wasn't here to think about his own business. He was on an assignment to fulfill his father's business. He was on a mission for the father and from the father to fulfill his assignment. That's what we're here for as well. Look at James, the fifth chapter. James, the fifth chapter says the 13th verse. I told you we got to turn up the heat. Now listen to this. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the set-apart assembly and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of Yahushua. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and Yahuwah shall raise him up, and if he have committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avail it much the effectual fervent heat seeking missile prayer that's what that's saying prayer that's on fire that's why i said turn your prayer life up it avail it much look at the 17th verse then it went on down and said elias was a man subject to like passion as we are he was saying elias is just like us you got elijah you got elias but look what it says passion as we are he prayed earnestly he was serious about prayer that it might not rain guess what happened and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. It didn't rain for three years and a half. It didn't rain because the man of Yah prayed. But guess what he did? The 18th verse. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Saints, I need you to listen up and remember this. These wicked events are going to remain on repeat. None of these hideous attacks against us, our people, are going to stop. We have to wake up to the fact that we are Hebrew Israelites and not Christians, not Muslims or any other people or religion. We are the chosen of Yahuwah. So call on Yahuwah in Yahushua HaMashiach's name to deliver Yasharel and not Cesare Borger, Pope Alexander the Sixth son, a.k.a. known, known as White Jesus. You can't call on him because he can't deliver. Thanks. You must remember, according to Psalms 83, that all the nations have gotten together to try to wipe us out. They don't want us to be a nation anymore. Check it out when you get a chance, Psalms 83. But I, I read this meme to you before, but I want to read it again. Saints, our enemies are trying to 
get that last hit in because they are on their last leg and have but a short season to do so because our redemption is right around the corner. So they are throwing every imaginable thing at us to destroy our very being, but it won't work. We have to remember we need to be still and know that Yah is Yah, but not be still in prayer. We must remain in prayer, but be still and trusting and waiting on the deliverance of the Most High Yahuwah. Thanks, I'm going to leave you with these last scriptures. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's Tehillim Psalms 23 and 4. Let me read this here. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. That's Psalm 91 and 14. That's the importance of knowing his name. His name will deliver you. His name will set you free. His name has brought salvation. His name is there to rescue you out of every hindrance, out of every bondage that the enemy or every trap that the enemy can set. You need to know his name. His name is very important. So call on his name, Yahuwah. Saints, we must continue to cry out for salvation of our people, our children, our loved ones, our friends, our financial success and difficulties, our bills to be paid and paid off, food shortages, struggles, and troubles. Pray for our relief from pain and suffering, making it to the place that we can walk in total and absolute victory for all of our days. Saints, starting today, starting today for some and a continuation for others, we need to start crying out to Yahuwah as a nation about delivering us out of the hands of our enemies. We really need Yahuwah's protection from these heathens because they are getting worse and worse with their hatred towards us. We don't have time to play games, saints. We got to cry out to Yah, call on him while he may be found, call on him while he is yet near. He's in love with us. He's going to come and rescue us. He's going to get us and he's going to come see about us. Cry to him now. We love you all. Have a great day. Shalom. Thank you.